like it was only yesterday. One year ago and I was one of them. Two weeks to the big day and they're milking every last wave for all it's worth. Should I get them in? You can try. I can't remember you guys wanting to get out of the water at this time last year. What they don't know is that there's nothing more you can do at this point. They've been taught everything they need to know. They're as fit as they're ever going to be. Whatever they could do to get over the line has already been done. But Simo's right. Try telling them that. The sun rises five to six. I was up at six this morning and it was still pitch black. What we need is those miners' helmets. Ones with the torches on top. <laughs> then we can be in the water by five. <laughs> what you need is your heads red. Dawn is shark time. I thought all surfers knew that. Ah, perfect. Gather around troops. Now, the fact that we have to prize you out of the surf with a crowbar makes me a very proud coach. But before we get to what time you're hitting the surf in the morning, we have some other business to attend to. Solar Blue want us to put together a promotional DVD to showcase the work that's been going on in the Academy. Something that can show the big wigs, potential sponsors. As well as everyone who applies to get in here in the future. That's right. So, for the next two days, grab a camera and take some footage of life in the Academy. Uh, the next two days? What happened to training? Well, this is it. Um, ten days to go and we stop training for two of them. That's like taking our time out of the water when we need it most. Yeah, that's whacked, Simo. Whacked. Fly, you think the plan is whacked? No. Guys, you're all in peak physical fitness. The trick now is just to maintain that fitness. And now that school's over, there's nothing stopping you from being in the water from dawn to dusk. And that's when injuries happen. Exactly. So the hours you'd normally be in school, you're making a movie instead. OK. Now for a side of solar blue, punters rarely get to see. Or here for that matter. It's all part of the day in the life of a solar blue girl. Corey, get that thing away from me! I don't know. I hadn't really let myself think about it. Until now. What? What did you say to upset her? I just asked her what she'd miss the most when this was all over. Brooke, what's up? I don't know. I guess it just hit me. This is all gonna be over soon. Very soon. Cos I've been feeling like it's all been a dream and the alarm's about to go off. The whole year's been about getting to the finals. To that day. I'm just thinking about the next day. The day after. Fly, what happens the day after the comp? Everyone goes home. Rachel goes back to Newcastle. Amy goes back to the Gold Coast. Eric will go back to Lindara. Mike goes back to wherever he's going. Hang on, two of us are going to Brazil. I know, but four of us aren't. Four of us are suddenly put back into our old lives and it's gonna be really hard. It's natural to worry about not winning, Brooke. Everyone does it. It's not even about that. If I win, I'll still be thinking about everyone who didn't and whether they're okay. That's the gig though. We all can't be winners. I know it sounds stupid, but 
I want us all to be winners because I want us all to stay together. Maybe it's not the same for anyone else. We've been living, eating and breathing together for a year. Then bang, pack up, say goodbye, have a nice life. Look, I know it seems like it's the end, but it's not. Not the surfing and not the friendships either. Really? Look, no offence, Fly, but you won. And you got to come back here and keep training. Maybe if you'd gone home, it'd be a whole different story. I think the distraction technique is getting a bit too distracting. How? Well, it's got them thinking too far ahead about what's going to happen after the comp to everyone who doesn't win. Well, they're all going to go on and have a great life anyway. That's what you've been telling them, right? That it'll all work out for all of them, winners and losers. I don't think they believe me. Ah, oh, well, lucky I've got one of last year's losers coming in to set them straight, isn't it? What? I wasn't meant to tell you that. Who? Uh, it's supposed to be a surprise. Well, well you spot it now, so who is it? You're kidding, Simo. Oh, come on, you know I'd be awake all night wondering. That's your choice, isn't it? Oh. So, I'm standing out the front of the gates, and my whole year's decided that I'm too up myself to be allowed back in. Like, I can still do classes, but my desk is outside the gates. Were you wearing socks? Socks always give me bad dreams. No. Maybe I should have worn socks. I couldn't even get to sleep to have a bad dream. Well, we're an uplifting bunch, aren't we? Won't you get this on video, Corey? I, uh, think you all need to get into the water. I thought the whole idea of this video plan was to keep us out of the water. It was to stop you being in the water 24-7. But I'm sure Solar Blue wants some action in their DVD. Mate, hey, it's Organ. Let's go. <laughs> maybe Brooke's right. If I had to go home, maybe everything would have been different. Because I deferred my spot. I didn't have to feel guilty about enjoying something the others missed out on. Still one of the best breaks around. Perry! Bye! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm staying with you for the next few days. Great! Yeah, I've got a gig at the surf clubs. Brilliant! Oh, it's so good to see you, Jilly. Oh, this is one secret I'm glad I don't have to keep any longer. You knew she was coming for the week and you didn't tell. Well, Simo asked me not to. It was worth just to see that look on your face. So, what are you doing with yourself now, Perry? Are you still surfing? Yeah, I'm still surfing, and I'm singing, and I'm loving them both. Even though you didn't win? Well, yeah, it was hard at first, because I was so sure I had it in the bag, and Fly trips in on the day and has to steal all the glory. <laughs> but then when I got home, I realised that no one had chopped my legs off. I was still one of the best surfers in my age group. So you're still competing? Well, then something really interesting happened. I was offered a gig at a beach festival, and an agent approached me last week, and he's talking about doing some recording. Right. <laughs> yes, right. thanks. So I'm going to concentrate on singing for a while, and I don't know, maybe when I'm accepting my first Grammy, I'll look back and think that fly whipping my butt was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what will come of it, but we'll see. That's it. That's the full catch-up. <laughs> Did I leave something out? Matt, I think you left out what happened with your Matt. No great news. We just kind of drifted apart. How? What do you mean how? You get busy, you miss calling for a couple of weeks. I don't know, Fly. Too much distance, different worlds. But you guys were, were so tight. Things change. I tried calling him a couple of weeks ago, but uh, his mobile's been out of range. Yeah, he was competing in WA. Actually, he should be on his way to Newcastle now. Not that you're keeping tabs or anything. So maybe now's a good time to try again. Don't fly. Don't go calling him on my behalf. <laughs> I'm shocked you'd even think such a thing. <laughs> so, strictly speaking, I didn't tell Per I wouldn't call at all. I said I wouldn't call on her behalf. But if Simmer wants the kids to see there are no losers at Solar Blue, Matt's exactly who they need to talk to. And he's on his way to Newcastle right now. No reason he couldn't jump off the train a couple of stops early and give them a little pep talk. And if Perry happens to be here when he comes, then cool. 
Yeah, at first it was almost perfect. You had me fooled, thought that you were worth it. It took a while, but the truth is finally through your cover. So if you want more, you're going to have to come to the concert like everybody else. Okay. Well, where's the star, eh, Perry? Hey. Matt. Hello. How you going? Oh, what are What's you here? doing here? Hey. Oh, just passing by. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Uh, we'll pick it up in the morning, hey? I'll see you all back at the house. Hey, Matt. So you've all stayed close, huh? Just leave it fly. You said that you cooled things off with Matt, but it was like there was an iceberg in the room. I wrote Matt a letter. There was a chance I could get some gigs in Melbourne and I wanted to see how he'd feel if I went down there. And? No response. Not a word. So you'll have to forgive me if I seem a little frosty. So you're still surfing competitively? Yeah. I'm doing uni at the same time, but yeah, I'm going to get onto the circuit on my own. I mean, after being in here, I went back out there and realised that I was fitter than I'd ever been. You know, more disciplined and better trained than anyone else that I was competing against. But you're still toughing it out on your own? Well, not really. Other sponsors are keen. And it makes sense. See, Solar Blue trains six of you intensively. And sure, they only take the top two, but the rest of you are still streets ahead of the competition. And the other sponsors know that. Where's the video camera light? This is gold. I've got to get this on tape. Perry, perfect timing. You and Matt are both here at the same time. I can get the perspective of the old crew and how they've used what they learnt here. Great. I'll be fascinated to hear Matt's perspective. Best experience in the water? The first week we were here, a pod of ten dolphins hung with us all afternoon. Matt, best experience out of the water? We had an awesome party after the final call. Stayed up till sunrise on the beach. Perry, greatest regret. I don't have one. Matt, greatest regret. Matt. Yeah, I heard. I'm gonna go unpack. You were never going to bed this early when you were training. My throat's a bit sore. Need the rest. And I guess it gets you out of having to talk to Matt. Look, this is the last thing I'm going to say about Matt. Promise. But his comp tomorrow is up the coast. He's going to get on a very early train in the morning, so if anything was going to get sorted, tonight's probably the last chance. He doesn't return my letter and I'm supposed to go down and sort it out? Well, he's obviously struggling and he needs some help. Why are you so obsessed with this? Because I think you guys are special. And I think the friendships we made here are worth fighting for. You know, I remember Edge saying that he didn't think any of us would be friends if we weren't trapped together in the house for so long. That's just Edge. You don't believe that. Well, no, I didn't. At the time. But maybe there is some truth in it. When you get back out in the real world, maybe some stuff just doesn't survive. That's what Brooke's trying to tell me. Yeah, well, maybe she's right, Fly. No way. I still feel the same as I've always felt about you guys. <laughs> yeah, but you're a one-off, Fly. If you want to pretend none of it really meant anything, that's fine, but it's not true for me. Good night. Night. It's okay, Fly, thanks. I can do it. What are friends for? 
Still the same old flight. Why didn't you reply to Perry's letter? Um, I don't know, Fly, I really don't. I wrote 22 versions of the letter back, but none of them seemed right. Yeah, and? And time just got away, and I never sent any of them. Why was it so hard to write the letter in the first place? And didn't you want Perry to come down to Melbourne? No, I, I did. I just, I wanted Perry to come to Melbourne because it was the best thing for her to do. And it didn't sound like the best thing. But every time I tried to write it down, it just sounded like I was palming her off. Well, by not writing back at all, you palmed her off totally. I can't believe how easily you two are just giving up. Look, even if you're not together, you guys were best friends. Isn't that worth fighting for? Two people have to be willing to fight, Fly. And right now, I'm the only one in the ring. I just need you to say something about the wind wave. Because that's my cue to cut to the next sequence. Hey, Corey, Corey. It's not me. Mysteriousness. It's just not my thing, you know. What is Matt still doing in the lounge? I don't know. He was supposed to be on a train two hours ago. Oh! So, I guess I'll be driving you to the comp, will I? I know, you big time, Simo. Can we all come? Watch Matt compete. Whoever's in the van in five minutes is welcome to join us. Yes. Uh, why don't you come? Can't, can I? Have songs to prepare. So, maybe I have been telling Brooke lies. Maybe the friendships you make here do fade away. your greatest achievement in the water? Um, winning the competition, I guess. Biggest lesson? Biggest lesson? Biggest lesson? Perry had to stay up in the Gold Coast. If Perry had gone to Melbourne, she wouldn't have been in the Gold Coast. And then she wouldn't have been offered the little local gig. And then the agent wouldn't have seen her. Right. So Matt not writing back was the best thing that could have ever happened to her. If you say so, I do. So, Matt, biggest regret? Well, it has to do with letting someone down. Still thinking of Matt as a loser. Thinking maybe his year at the Academy was a waste of time? Yeah, amazing, thanks. So I guess this is the bit where I feel like a winner, right? I reckon I'll be able to chew you up on the way back to the house. I wasn't aware I was going back to the house. You are? We've got some unfinished business to clean up. Like what? You'll see.
You were great. Thanks. How'd you go today? Oh, I did all right. He won. Of course he did. I think I'm gonna get a drink. Matt? Hello? What? I think you need to get something to drink too. Ah, uh, right. Of course. I'm really sorry. I, I, I just... Do you know what to write? And then you left it so long. Has Fly already told you this? No. I saw what you said on Corey's tape. Uh, right. Well, seeing as you've already heard my apology, I think now it's your turn to thank me. I need to thank you. Fly can fill you in on all the details, but basically if your singing career takes off, it's all thanks to my unsent letter. Really? The way Fly sees it is, even though I didn't know why, I knew you well enough to stop you from doing something that wasn't right for you. Don't you hate it that she's right all the time? It's the worst. What's happening? They're talking to each other. That's a good start. So you didn't ask me what I won? What did you win, Matt? Tickets to compete in the Margaret River Classic. Hey, congratulations. And I um, thought I might pop into the Gold Coast on the way home. Right, because the Gold Coast is about a 10,000 kilometre detour on your way back to Melbourne. Yeah, well, I don't mind putting in a couple of extra miles every now and then. All right, everyone. I'd like to announce the world premiere of the Solar Blue Bloopers. What bloopers? Well, I had to do something with the hopelessly bad footage you guys shot, so... <laughs> <laughs> From the outside, Solar Blue seems like a school for elite, suave and sophisticated athletes at the peak of their sport. Here we go. Let's take a look at the real story. This is the boardroom. We call it the boardroom because it's the... <laughs> <laughs> it's totally focused, surfing... <laughs> <laughs> I never said I'm right all the time, but I am right about one thing. The friendships you make here are special. <laughs> and like all friendships, you can't lose them unless one of you wants to. Unless one of you lets go. And I don't think these guys are going to let go. Not for a second. <laughs> <laughs>